All right, let's look at the movements of the sternoclavicular joint. So the saddle joint between your sternum and your clavicle. So this joint moves in the frontal plane and it moves in elevation and uh, depression. So if you shrug, quote unquote, your shoulders, if you push your, your uh, glenohumeral or your shoulder up towards your ears, that's elevation of the clavicle. And you can elevate that um, by about 45 degrees from normal. So this is that motion there. And you can depress the clavicle by a lesser amount, which you can feel. We also have in the horizontal or the transverse plane, something called, so this is looking at a top view. So it's looking down on your sternum and it's if you kind of hunch your shoulders and that is called protraction. So your clavicles come anteriorly or if you try to push your scapula together, that would be retraction. So again, we have more motion in clavicular protraction than we do in retraction. We also have axial rotation. So again, this is the top view and your clavicle kind of rolls uh, forward and uh, anterior and posterior around this uh, sternum. And again, we're looking at a top view. So when your glenohumeral joint flexes or AB ducts, the clavicle will rotate posteriorly. And let's bring up, um, pause this. Here's an image from the slide deck. So this is uh, elevation of about 45 degrees and depression for about 10 degrees in the frontal plane of the sternoclavicular joint. So that's again right here between the sternum and the clavicle. You also have protraction, which is coming anteriorly, and retraction, um, which is posterior. And then you can see this posterior rotation um, about the uh, long axis of the clavicle.